Hello everyone, welcome to the stream. We're playing some more Wizard and the Princess today. Um, and before all we do anything else, I'm going to check in and see how you are. Um, if anybody would like to join the chat, please feel free to do so. It'd be lovely to have your company. And I'd like to uh, remark on something that I don't, I don't think I've drawn too much attention to about Wizard and the Princess in our previous sessions is that while it has very limited graphical capabilities I think it does a pretty good job with, with what it's got with the abilities it has and the resources it has um, this screen here for example is, is quite a vivid um, and evocative image of, of like a, a tropical sort of a tropical lush verdant area um, and it's quite effective and the the desert the desert area was quite effectively bleached and bleak um, so I think this game is, is doing a good job and um, another thought I'd have is the um, the strange tableau quality because there's no there's no animation on show in any of these any of these rooms that we pass through. Um, they're all static images and occasionally something will change so we'll either um, create an item on the screen or, or remove it um, which would change the tableau but it, it remains frozen and it gives kind of a, a strange sense of time having stopped um, and yet we can still interact with the world it can still affect change um, but our change only happens in, in uh, discrete alterations to the reality that we see um, it gives it an odd kind of detached and I don't know, quite peaceful quite serene um, quality and um, uh, I, I think it's purely accidental purely coincidental um, side effect of the the way it was programmed and uh, the resources available at the time but it kind of it adds a little adds a little extra nuance to a story that um, begins at least if you read the manual um, with uh, the manipulation of time so we're kind of a we're a, a hero sent back through time to try again at something we'd already succeeded um, and meeting obstacles that are sort of in these frozen moments something quite poetic about that we had some thoughts about that but uh, the you'll see we're at the, the parrot screen so you may recall if you've joined us for previous um, previous parts of our adventure that we pretty much cleaned up this area it was uh, we'd come through the desert uh, created a bridge and we'd gone through a forest and to a beach and we subsequently crossed the sea to an island but I've taken us back to that woodland because there was a parrot we couldn't quite work out what to do with and uh, while thinking about the, the game in the course of my, my day generally um, I had a sudden memory that we used to have a cracker in our inventory so I wondered what had happened to that cracker I'll um, just show you our inventory now so a large rock, an empty flask, a stick, a pocket knife. Um, I think the pocket knife was uh, something we'd had right from the start. A note, a large rock, and we now have a cracker as well as our locket. An apple, a loaf of bread, and a blanket. So the um, the cracker was something that we encountered the very first time we came to the northern area of the desert, and I picked up, and then the uh, the game went a bit, went a bit strange. Uh, we stopped for the, that day. We came back next time and did everything else in that area, but forgot to get the cracker. So I had to go back to previous save games, and luckily I saved them in individual slots to do that. Um, that was a good, turned out to be a good strategy. So uh, I went back, confirmed whether we'd ever had the cracker, because I worried that the gnome who stole other of our items might have stolen the cracker. Uh, he didn't, we didn't have it. Um, so I went back, got the cracker, and come back to the parrot. So, 
uh, I I've made the connection that uh, Polly wants a cracker. Uh, well, no, uh, my syntax is going to be too complicated there, isn't it? Give cracker. The parrot eats a cracker and is very grateful. He sets a vial of liquid on the tree branch for you. There's a vial here. We're going to see a vial. Oh, we are. Nice. Right, uh, get vile. <laughs> Hopefully this stream won't get too vile. Great. I wonder if there's any clues about the contents of the vial. If we look at it, maybe it has a label. The vial is full of a greenish liquid. You're in the woods, there's a parrot sitting in a tree. Okay, well maybe greenish is a clue. So, um, I've gone, we wound us back in time a little. There are a couple of things we now need to do to escape this island. Oh, oh dear, I didn't mean to do that. Ha, ah, phew! Apologies if uh, you had a little, uh, a little moment there. Uh, so did I. Right, let's work out how to go to the brook. The brook is important uh, for fresh drinking water. If we don't currently have because we have an empty flask. So I think we need to go south and so helpful to have a map because the directions are um, counterintuitive and inconsistent. So that's where we are. We need to go west there. To yeah, we can't go directly to the brook from here for some reason. I go back to this. This is where we met our, our gnome, uh, not friend, I would say, but uh, acquaintance. I guess we're passingly acquainted with the gnome now. Right. So we want to can we just get water? I think we can put it as crudely as that. Your flask is now full of water. Yeah, there we go. So we've got fresh water. And we shall go back south. Because this is the only way to get to where we need to go, which is the lion. Because I believe we haven't um, gone to interact with the lion yet in this in this timeline. Yeah, there's our friend the lion. Hi lion. So we now know that this lion really likes bread. I don't think lions in the wild would um, typically eat bread. But this one, this one really enjoys it. So then the correct direction to go is north. Yeah, so we haven't done any of these puzzly bits yet. That's fine. I think I can remember what we need to do. We need to get that rope. I think we're all equipped for our sea voyage. What I will do is I'll save the game here. before we head off. Uh, let's see, I will save that in slot F, that was the one I was using for restoring the cracker. And then we're saved, we're back. And let's go boat. Go boat, go. So we know there's a hole in the boat, and we know despite an apple fitting quite nicely to start with, it doesn't make a seaworthy vessel. Um, so we we will use the blanket. Maybe it's waxed or something that might help, won't it? Some kind of water retardants would would help there. So then, uh, ooh, can I remember how we get into the ocean? Can't quite. So this map is no longer any use to us, I don't think. So let's pop that on 
for a magic scroll. I'll... Is this? No. I oh, know, these two, yeah. So if I find where this is. Yeah, so this is the island we're heading for. That we saw last time, at the end of our last session of playing. So, um, I think maybe it's north? Great, so we've got like a mini a mini ocean going maze to solve here. Um, but as I recall it was fairly intuitive. I think we go north again and we'll start to see an island. Great, yeah. So it's sort of telling us we're thirsty, so this was a good getting water was a good idea. Right, so I th I think we go north once more as we see the island. And they should appear kind of off to the right, I'm hoping. Fantastic it is. So then I think we just keep going east. Um, the currents will probably take us nearer. As long as we keep seeing the island in the distance, we know we're on the right track. Yeah, I think east again. Is crust. The um, the suspense of having it draw in every time is is quite delicious, isn't it? Yes, here we go. We made it. Oh no! You know what? Can I get that blanket again? Because I don't know if it will be useful. Let's have a look. Apparently, I can. Okay, so my portable. Probably worth having just in case. Um, on the beach of Ireland, go beach. Lovely, so here we are again. Okay. So I think it'd probably be safe to save here because so we're in unknown territory. Um, I've got plenty of slots, haven't I? So I don't really need to worry about that. So I will save it under G. So I know that G is our the furthest and most complete uh, version of our playthrough so far. I swap my disc back and we're here okay okay you're on a beach on an island so if I look at the beach see nothing special if I look at the trees see nothing special if I look at the bird there's a gun in the sky um, look mark don't know how to look a mark look X special. Um, how about if we dig? We have nothing to dig with. Interesting. I guess I don't really. Okay, well, which directions do you think we might be able to go in from here? I'm thinking probably east or west, if the cardinal directions are kind of as I might expect them to be. I'll start getting the map ready to draw some more. I mean, I'm hoping there's some else to go. I'm also kind of hoping that we're quite advanced in our adventure. Maybe this island will be the location where we'll finally encounter the wizard and the princess. Because that would be nice. Um, I'm going to try going to the west. Let's see what happens. You go in the middle of the ocean without a boat and drown. Oh, well, that's very helpful. Thank you. Don't go west, is my advice. That does feel a tad unfair, doesn't it? They could have said, oh, west is the ocean. Are you sure you want to go in that direction? That would have been helpful. So 
to get our save game back. Switch the disc. It was G, wasn't it? And then switch the disc. Okay, so west is a no no, but that doesn't mean the direction that's to the left is the west. Right. Um, yeah, so the, the cross draws itself in, doesn't it? As an afterthought. Um, so we're going to be digging for something, aren't we? Alright, well, let's try east and hope we don't end up in the ocean again. Oh, what's this winding thing? Is that part? You're in the jungle of the island. A path goes north and a path goes west. Which does marry up with what we'd expect. Interesting. So I presume the path to the west is where we came from? That makes sense. Okay, so I will zoom in a little, I think. I'll sketch this in to the map. Oh, hello. That brush is a little too large, I think. So we've got a foreground tree. Um, I don't think quite the same amount of effort went into this particular screen as some of the others. Um, but I'm still admiring that, that fresh tropical atmosphere that the, um, the palette creates. Uh, where do we do this? This here? Kind of like that. And then there's another foreground tree. Yeah, that gets the message across, I think. So that was east, wasn't it? So shall I just chest, test the hypothesis by trying to go west? See if that leads us back to our landing point. It certainly does. Fab. Okay, so next off, I think. What was I thinking about? I don't know. I lost my train of thought. There we go. Let's go back east then. So, progress you'd think would be north. I mean, um, it, I mean the way doesn't look blocked in any other direction. Um, shall we be, oh, we can't go south, okay. Um, so can I continue going east? Okay, no, this is good, so it's limiting my options, which in this case is encouraging. Um, okay. Right, well this looks strangely straightforward at the moment. Um, which, uh, if if it really is as, as straightforward as it looks, um, I'm very grateful for. Okay. So you can go north there, and then go another another fork in the road. Maybe shot the horizon a little there, I think. Let's tidy that up, let's pull that back. Oh, now my, I've got a very tiny eraser. That's, yep, yeah, that will, that'll do. That's better. Okay, so, draw this line here. Um, and this 
Ooh, made that palm tree a little, a little wider than appears on screen. Never mind. Um, and there's another palm there as well. So, um, north, south, and west. So we know where south goes. Let's try going west, I think. I'm curious. That would fill out a square, wouldn't it? Oh, hello. Cave. Um, caves uh, bring promise, but also danger, I feel. So we came west, and here is a. So I think this is a dead end, isn't it? This you can only go. Um, so, yeah, I feel that this is probably a dead end that we can only go back along the path we entered by. So, given the um, less linear progression of the previous areas, this, this is quite straightforward, isn't it? I wonder if um, that's a, just a matter of um, simplification in the design. Um, as the designers got to this point, or whether um, there's another purpose to it. So I guess it won't harm us to uh, look at the cave. See nothing special, it's just a cave. Once you see one cave, you see them all. Um, but what if I go to the cave? What would happen then? Would I need some kind of light? Light source? Interesting, okay. Cave ends right here. Oh, okay. I mean, do I get... If I look at cave... No? So where can I go from here? Can I go south? Can I go east? Can I go west? I'm going to go north. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. That appeared to be an entirely empty cave, as far as I could tell. So I wonder what that signifies. Hmm. Curious. Um, so there's only one more fork on the path we haven't been to. I guess I'll try going south from here first. No. Go north from here. No, no, I can only go back along the path by which I entered. Fair enough. So far, I've not been presented with many, many options or opportunities. Which is, is interesting. Okay, we're up. So, oh yes, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm going to go north from here. I was preempting it by getting my map ready. Oh, here we go. So we're at the beach again. Is there going to be an angry crab? Oh, there's a anchor. Interesting. Hmm, I like the atmosphere of this. I like the uh, the way they've created the um, tone for the sand. It's nice. It gives a nice texture as well as colour. Um, right, so what do I make of this anchor? I wonder if I can just get the anchor. You'd think it might be a little heavy, but who knows? Hmm. 
you know, it's a perfect representation as it's put their eyes in. Wonderful. Um, I'll look at that anchor. Oh, I see nothing special about it. Can I just get it? Apparently, yes, I can. Apparently, yes, I can. Alrighty, so I'm going to try a few other directions from here, but first, I'm going to save the game because I know this game likes to let me walk into the sea without warning. Okay, so I'm not going to presume I can go north, but maybe I could go east or west. Oh, I could go west. Well, that's interesting. I'm not sure how that works exactly. I guess I know that is more inland, isn't it? That does, it does tally up. Okay. Further mapping. So it's encouraging that there's a house up there. There might be somebody friendly to talk to. Um, because so far it's been a very solitary and lonely adventure. The, um, the only uh, creatures or people we've had the chance of talking to are the parrot who said, ugh, uh, to almost everything we tried to give it. And the, the gnome who, as soon as we looked at it uh, stole all our stuff and disappeared. Um, so it's been it's been a somewhat friendless adventure, I'd say. But that's why we're all here together, keeping each other company, and knowing that at the end of our adventure. Everything will be all right. So it kind of looks like the tree, the house is in the tree. Oh no, it is. Okay, I didn't. I hadn't read the text fully. I thought I assumed from the there was a tree in perspective, a house in perspective. Sorry, and a, a normal sized tree, but apparently it's, that's a, a jumbo jumbo tree and a human sized house it looks like to me it looks like a normal sized house a normal sized tree and a bird sized house okay well that might make it more challenging to get to I guess I've got a rope and an anchor haven't I mm -hmm. um, anybody else thinking grapple okay um, path goes east and south Oh. Yeah, so the graphic is confusing, isn't it? Because it looks like it's going south and. Oh no, it's going. But where would it go? So, should I entered from the east? And where would this lead me south other than to the cave? Because that's where it would be on our map. Oh, it's just above the cave. So if I try going south, what happens there? No, somewhere different. Okay. So we'll come back to that tree house, but um, this is a north-south path. Okay. Um, so I guess I'll Oh, it's kind of one step removed. Down here. Um, but we don't seem to be adhering to a kind of grid structure that we might. I do kind of wonder how um, how Bert and Ken Williams planned this out for themselves. How they visualised um, 
the layout of everything. I wonder if they. Uh, I wonder if they did create a map before they started programming things. I mean, they wouldn't, wouldn't necessarily have had to. Assuming we had that very loud backfiring motorbike. Apologies for that. Not very tropical islandy. Well, I guess actually it probably is quite tropical islandy these days. Uh, not fantasy tropical islandy. Yeah, the perspective's not stellar here, is it? Because the, uh, the path is wide close to us as it is uh, on the horizon, so it's not, not spectacular. And the island is flat as a pancake here. So the only way to go where we'd be surprised is south from here. So let's go south and see where we end up. Oh, okay. Back where we started. So this kind of loops around where the cave would be. Okay. So presumably if I chose a north from here, which I, I think I just assumed I couldn't do because it was like there was a big hill in front of me, um, then you get to a path that way. So I think we've circumnavigated the whole island now. I don't think there's anywhere else we could go. Um, I'll go back to the, the treehouse area. Excuse me, wrong window. Um, so I'm assuming let's get one here. I'll just test the boundaries of this this particular screen. I don't think I'll be able to go north or west. I think you're west. No. Okay, well let's have a look at this house. See nothing special. Can I look at the tree? See nothing special. It's really a, a, a paucity of, of clues or even just sort of um, some, some flavour text to, to bring it to life, isn't there? Uh, I'll climb the tree. The tree may not be climbed without help. Okay. Um, tie anchor. No, can't follow. To what? To rope. You throw the rope, but it doesn't go far enough. What? Blanket, a large rock, empty flask, a stick, a pocket knife, a note, a large rock, a locket, apple, full bar, a rope, an anchor. Right, so what if I do tie rope? Tie. Tie rope. To what? To anchor. The anchor is tied to the rope. There we go. So I got the command all right around. And then. Can I. Okay. How is that described in my. Wait. Oh, sorry. Inventory now. No. Third uh, time lucky. An anchor with a rope on it. Um, so maybe if I throw anchor. As that was the first. Um, the first item of the two mentioned. The rope. Ah, the rope is thrown over the branch. So there's a tree house on the right. So I could probably. I like that it appears on screen. That's nice. Um, sorry. I need to flash the text up there. Um, throw. I don't want to throw. I've already thrown. I want to climb the rope, please. Uh -huh. Will there be a person to talk to at last? Please. Be so nice. Um, 
Okay. Um, this is a really bare bones island, isn't it? Yes. So, uh, look. Is it a shovel that I need to call it? It's nothing special. Can I get the shovel? I mean, is, is there anything else? I don't think there will be, but I'll, I'll try looking at the other things in there. I think they're merely here just so it's like a, a blank room. Entirely blank room. It's, it's pretty, uh, pretty sparse. Already. So, can I say go north? Can I go south? Can I go east? Can I go west? Can I go down? Can I climb right? Can I go door? That was what I needed to do all along. So am I down on the ground again? That would be most helpful. Yep. All right. Well, I think I need to. I'll just update a couple of things in my uh, my map screen. So I'll just write about the, the shovel. Oh, wrong colour. Right about the shovel. That's not the shovel. I meant the anchor. Right about the anchor here. Um, and if I pop back over to this screen and write that the, I can't go in either of those directions, but I can get the spade, that is what I'm thinking of, uh, in the treehouse. Um, and then I need to, I think that's the most direct way back to the beach where we landed is just to go south, isn't it? I feel like we're making sterling progress still. I mean, I hope there's something pretty magnificent in this chest. Um, otherwise I'm not quite sure where where we navigate to next. I mean, potentially we could go somewhere else by sea. Um, but that prospect does frighten me slightly. Great, so I, I'll say I'll save again here. I feel like we've made safe enough progress that I can do it. But equally that things could be about to go wrong. Okay, dig. Uncovered a treasure chest. Okay, fingers crossed, everybody. What do you think we'll find? I'm hoping there's something magical, I think. A pirate jumped from behind a tree, shiver me timbers, trying to steal my treasure. Grabs the chest and runs. Do we get to see the pirate? I bet we don't, do we? Uh, well, how lonely this adventure is. The coal. I shall. Well, so, considering our uh, island in its totality, this feels like a much sparser rerun of our previous uh, environment. Fewer screens, fewer, fewer details to puzzle out, and a, an empty cave to get to. So let's go east. I'd like to talk to this pirate if possible. Maybe they've got passage off this island. I was hoping this might be an island, this sort of island that has a wizard's castle on it, but I've been disappointed so far.
Okay, so we go cave and then pirate, hopefully. Oh, just a chest. Well, it was a, a passing detour, I suppose. Um, let's open the chest. Doesn't look like it's locked. Can it, are you going to tell me anything about what's inside, or should I look? Okay, this key prints right here. Okay, we can look chest. There's a small harp here. Oh, that could be magical. There are definitely plenty of magical harps in the uh, fantasy fiction. Let's see if we can get this harp. Okay. Uh, so let's look at the room. I don't think our pirate's going to come and bother us again somehow. Uh, look, harp. I see nothing special. Can I play the harp, please? When you play the harp, it sings beautifully. You're in the cave, the cave ends right here. Oh. Well, I like that it sings beautifully, but um, what do I do now? Is there somewhere else to go in this ocean? Quite possibly. Um, let's try looking at the um, the might the pirate. I guess might have changed something at the other end of the island. Um, where we found the anchor. I mean, the pirate might want their anchor back, possibly. Um, so we're going to go we east. Almost said west. And north, and just see if there's anything different there. That might give us a clue as to what our next step would be. Anything here? No. No, I'll look at the beach to see. I'll look at the sea to see. I see nothing special. Um, I don't think there's anything else to do on this island. I think we have everything. So sadly this island wasn't our, our ultimate destination. Um, we're going to have to venture out to sea again. Which is a little worrying. I was kind of hoping for a limited exposure to mazes for the rest of the game, if possible. So we go weast again here. Then I guess I will save and we can we can get back in the boat again and I'll try and make a map of the ocean. It seems ambitious. I'll save it. So we'll go for slot G again. Don't we? Um, let's see if we can go home. Which direction? No, I don't. It wasn't. Didn't understand what I meant. I don't think. Right, back in the boat. So, uh, I'll try and work out what command we can use. I think push off would be good, wouldn't it? I wonder if we can say push off. Um, so first of all, I'll I'll create a map for the island. And we'll just 
get one of these map squares to start us off. So we'll, we'll try to map the ocean. So I think I can afford to zoom out a little bit here, so I'm not going to be putting deep, much detail in, I don't think. So we went north and east, didn't we, somewhat, to get to this island. Okay, so we're going to need to use the blanket again, what's more to bung the boat? Oh! Oh! No way! Oh! Although this might be an unfortunate bug. I should probably have left the blanket in there, shouldn't I? Oh dear. Um, hmm. What if I say south? East? West? Ah, okay, so west takes you to sea. Uh, but you do need to use that. Oh dear. Well, that's rather unfortunate, isn't it? I might need to replay that segment with the blanket back in the hole in the boat. Oh dear, how unfortunate. I guess what we could do, as a casual experiment let's say, is load save game F, I believe it was, which is the one just before we took off. And just have a little, a little experiment with where we can go ocean wise. So I go to the boat. There's a hole in the boat. So if I pop this down, down at the bottom of the scroll there somewhere, let's say, and um, use the blanket. Yeah, shame that doesn't work on the uh, the other island, does it? Um, can we push off? Push, shove off? Can you go see? Direction. Uh, the north. Yeah, you seem to guess the direction that it means for the ocean. Interesting. Okay. So I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to call where we were the mainland for the purposes of this. So it was quite a large body of land anyway. Um, so this is north. So I'll just, I guess I'll mark, I can mark the horizon line and I might mark if any bodies appear on there. So if I were to go south, is that consistent? Would I go back to the beach? Yeah, I would, okay. So that's good to know, that's consistent. North. So can we go east or west from the off? I'd be tempted to go east because that's mildly the opposite direction to where we found the other island. 
I expect to get thirsty. Okay, so that's a possibility. Interesting. Oh, no, that didn't work. Let's try that again. Oh, hello. What's, what's happening? What are you up to, scroll? It's not, oh, right, it did, it did work. Fantastic. Uh, why, why are we being a bit peculiar? That's lovely. Oh, we did work several times. Okay, fair enough. Um, no, that was that. That was the original. Okay, we're all fine. Uh, minor, minor map confusion, but we went to that one, and then we went to this one. We're, uh, hang on, no, 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 no. Where are the actual? Where are the things I'm doing? Great. There. So that was actually there, wasn't it? That's where I went to. Just horizon there. Let's not go V, let's go. Oh no, I didn't mean to go east, did I? I meant west, uh, but I said east. And then put my thing in V. So, well, if we're going east, let's go east. Let's come in. I guess for, while we're here, if we go too far, I guess we could go west of here. If I recall, when we got stuck in this maze before, briefly, um, we got to a screen which uh, didn't progress us anywhere, uh, didn't redraw. So that might be a hint that we're stuck. I think the text changes as well to indicate that we're lost at sea or something. Something similar. Okay, so it looks like you can go one step either way, at the very least. Which is fine. So, I mean, west, so west was what I actually meant, wasn't it? So let's see if we can go further west. Ah, oh, no, I can't. So this is a, this is a, this one here. We're stuck. So this might, might not be too hard to interpret, actually. So we're stuck there. So I think the only way out of that is to go back east. I'll, I'll just try now. Yeah. Um, yeah, so if I go back east, should, yeah, it draws me back where I was, which is cool. So then, I guess... So is this the... Yeah, that was the, that was the middle one. Yeah, that was correct. Okay, cool. It uh, turns out it's quite easy to get confused as to where you are uh, when you're feeling a little bit warm and a little bit tired and all the sea looks the same. Um, right, so we'll, we will do the easterly thing. We'll do the easterly thing as part of our adventurous mapping. So I expect us to be able to go east a bit. Ah, uh, now you get stuck. Yep, so you can't. You get stuck. Oh my golly. Gosh. Uh, that exploded. The scroll exploded off the side of the screen there. My apologies. That was very unexpected. Um, yeah. 
It's been having trouble doing things I would like it to. I think that's good. No, that's not good. Okay. That's good. Is that good? This looks not, not quite right, does it? Okay, so it's been. Hello? Oh. pretty good. Um, excuse me while I adjust the scroll. Much better, okay. Um, another annotation stuck, you get stuck there. I mean this does make it look very much like there's only one way through this. Doesn't it? So I wonder if I need, just need to play my harp in the right place. Or maybe drink my greenish liquid or something else. Yeah, it makes it this makes it look like there's a map that's probably only got one successful path through it. That's what I'm thinking. So we're back in the middle square of the map, uh, just north of the mainland. There we are. Uh, I'm going to go north from here. Yes, yeah, so this is the point at which you need to drink. So I can use this square there. Yeah, so I think I'm I, potentially I'm barking up the wrong tree uh, as to where to go next by looking at the ocean. Because this generally seems to be indicating that um, it's a, it's a one-way trip. Um, Which is fine by me. It's just um, it's hard to know where where progress would lie. So yes, if I try and go west at this point, am I then stuck in the? Uh, yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah. So I think I think there's only one correct path, and we just sort of intuited it pretty well first time it's my impression um, I'll just test it out a little further by going east to where we see the island and if I try going east once more and get stuck there I think I think there is just one path So I think if that's the case, we'll reload a save on the island and maybe just try one or two things before we finish for today. Um, so can I go east from here? I cannot. Can I go north from here? I cannot. Uh, that's stuck too. Yeah, so I think this is quite a generous maze. And there's, only, there's only one path through it. And it quite clearly indicates when you are stuck and can't go any further. So, I mean, that's really helpful for us. Um, in many ways. There's some interesting stuff going on in these layers that I'm not sure I get there, but never mind. So let's just hide and group this stuff together. Hide it up. I just don't see it right now. And um, we'll have a look at the tropical island again. Uh, we'll, we'll just load that, load that up. Let's start getting 
correctly. Oops, that was not what I was trying to do. I believe that one, and then I believe that one, and I believe that should do it. Fab. So um, let's check our inventory again. So there's any things that we um, haven't used that seem a bit conspicuous. Uh, there's a stick. I wonder what the stick could be for. A pocket knife, a note, a large rock, a locket, an apple, a full vial, a shovel, a harp. I'm going to try playing the harp in different locations and see if anything happens. I don't think that can hurt. I'm going around the island in a circuit and, and play the harp. the car horn. I talk to the harp. There are magical talking harps, aren't there? No way. Nope, can't do that apparently. Um, just outside the cave, that seems like an auspicious place, doesn't it? Ah, uh, no, nothing happens, that's fine. Um, I guess that... Potentially, if the blanket had remained in the boat, we could shuttle backwards and forwards between this and the other land um, and use our items on things there, but it doesn't really seem anything unresolved from those areas, I don't think. I think that strikes me that way. Um, we kind of interacted with all the things that seem to have an interaction. I wonder if I can dig in this this part of the beach too. Dick? No way. That's so outrageous, isn't it? Um, but I'm certainly going to play the harp. I think it's so good at playing this harp. Pretty sure it's magical. Um, I think there's only one location we haven't been to with the harp. Yeah, on this side of the island. Okay, let's try it here. Okay, so I think there's just one more thing I'd like to try before we finish for today. Um, let's see if we can drink what's in the vial. You drink the liquid, your arms turn into wings. Ah. So f North? Oh, you can fly. Wow, you can fly for a bird for one. One screen. Oh, uh, do I slap the vial? Uh, sorry, inventory, that would tell me to. 
An empty vial. Oh, I'll have to use it at the right time. Well, that's useful to know and makes sense, being as it was given to me by a bird. But um, I do kind of wonder what I need to do now. What happens if I eat the apple? Apple is poisoned, you are dead. Oh, crikey. Don't do that then, folks. Well, um, I think we made good progress, but we seem to have reached an impasse again, which um, is a shame. I have to give it some thought as to where we go from here. Um, but I think, yeah, I think we'll call that a stream for today. It looks like my, I think, not only am I struggling with the heat, I think my hardware and also the internet seem to be, which is a shame. Um, yeah, yeah, so apologies if you've tuned in for the stream and it uh, hasn't quite been there for you. Um, I will I'll do the best I can, but uh, with limited resources. Well, thank you for joining me. If you've watched the stream or if you're watching this on demand later on, and probably the best way to watch it later on will be when I upload it to YouTube. Uh, that's also Cat Sequences on YouTube. Um, uh, if you're interested in what's going on over there, uh, I'm currently running Let's Play series of Feeble Files and Divine Divinity, um, adventure game and uh, role playing game, respectively. Um, you can catch up with my previous streams of Sierra's first adventure game, Mystery House. They're all up there now. Um, there are some episodes of uh, when we streamed Extas, um, and I'll be uploading the uh, previous episodes of this. And so, hopefully, not too in not too long a time, this will be up there too. And um, who knows? By that time, we might even have cracked the riddle of this island. And until then, until next time. Um, please take care and uh, thank you for joining me and see you again. Bye bye.